So, just to elaborate on the schools, one thing that I would agree with, or sorry, let's start over. So, to elaborate, one thing that I believe, well not one thing, but a list of things that I think schools are good for, is communicating with other kids, um, learning right from wrong, in depending on who the school teachers are, and uh, basically building up a com camarader camaraderie between kids, especially nowadays as we get more disconnected. And uh, so yeah, one of the best things that I found when I was a kid is when we do group projects. So I remember he was a good friend of mine at the time. His name was Cameron DeLong. Maybe I shouldn't say his name. It's all good there. I'm sure there's more than one Cameron DeLongs out there. But uh, we would always end up trying to be in the same group if the teacher didn't choose a group for us, which is always the worst. But uh, so he was more of like, let's call him a smarter kid. He became like a dentist, for example. And uh, so he was always good at writing and putting things into words and stuff like that. Whereas I would, I would just sit there and uh, kind of do what I do right now and just spit ideas out as fast as I could to make things uh, creative and go along faster. And then he would just write it all down and then we'd, we'd do it, whether it was a play or a uh, just like a science project or whatever. So we'd always go in groups together and it was just like a perfect team. So I would do all the, the more like physical and creative stuff and then he would just start writing things down and then bouncing ideas off each other and we'd, we'd just bang it out. But then if I got someone in my group that was more like myself, I found we never got anything done because all we do is fucking talk. <laughs> and uh, we just wouldn't write anything down and then we'd get off track. So it kind of teaches you, like I said, camaraderie in that way. Um, and again, maybe it was just me. I hung out with every different kind of kid you could think of in junior high, elementary, and high school. So I would have... Uh, I got a hole in my sock. I would have like nerdy friends. I would have like jock, sport, like uh, what do they call them? Preppy guy friends. I would have like jocks, hockey players, football players, basketball players, volleyball players. And then there'd be like the girls that I knew. And then there'd be, like I said, like the nerdy kids. And I would just talk to everyone. And then as time went on, I would see them places. And it was just like... I don't know. It'd be, I don't know, maybe it's just because I never found a perfect spot to actually, like, let's call it fit in. So I kind of did everything. Um, but yeah, I, you know, a nerdy kid would be walking by a bunch of jocks or whatever, and I'd be the only one to talk to him because I already knew him. And uh, so it was kind of fun that way. I, yeah, made lots of friends over the years. A lot of them probably don't even remember me now, but some of them probably do. So that's what I think school is good for. And then obviously the basics like adding and subtracting and talking and uh, writing things down, learning the alphabet, all that good stuff. Green and, or was it blue and red make purple and yellow and blue make green and all that kind of stuff. But just simple tasks. I don't know. We I think we just spent too much time indoctrinating our kids to, it doesn't even matter what you're teaching really, because you're just teaching them to follow kind of orders in a way. And it's like nine years until you get to high school and then all the rebels drop out or get kicked out because they never go to class because they're like, this is retarded. And now that I get to choose to go to class, I'm not going to. And so the other part of this that I thought of was the fences. Uh, what's the difference between a a home and a uh, prison or a school, especially nowadays, we're also very disconnected. So we've got 
six foot stone walls separating our houses and then we got regular walls and windows that we cover up with things just to go be very like private and I think it's almost causing us to um, because we work so hard to to buy one which is part of the the issue is you work so hard so you feel entitled and you want to enjoy it so you get stuck inside instead of outside um, and it starts with the fences and the walls so even a chain link fence would be better than a stone wall or a wood wall that you can't see through because then at least if your neighbors are outside you can actually talk to them but then everyone then there's weird people in this world so everyone just like you know oh that crazy old lady next door she's a hag or whatever because she comes outside and yells at you just for being young and uh so then we want to build like these walls which is kind of sad but uh what can you do that's just my input that's the school prison house video